In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of digits in an integer using recursion in C++. So if we have an integer, like for example, 3,512, we can determine how many digits are in this integer by following this process. We can divide the integer by 10. That's going to give us 351 as a quotient. Then we'll take that quotient and we'll divide it by 10. So we'll get 351 divided by 10 is equal to 35. And we'll keep taking the quotient of the previous division operation and dividing it by 10. So now we'll have 35 divided by 10 is going to give us three. And we'll have three divided by 10 is going to give us zero. And we'll stop this process once the quotient is equal to zero. And the number of division operations it takes to get the number equal to zero is the number of digits in the number. So here it took four division operations and our number has four digits. We'll make a recursive function to carry out this process. We'll call the function count digits. The function is going to return an int, the number of digits in the number. And the function is going to accept an int value as an argument. So we'll have here int number for the parameter. Then we'll supply a definition of this function down here. So we'll paste this. Now, when making a recursive function, we usually have a recursive case and a base case. In the recursive case, the function will call itself again with a smaller version of the same problem. In the base case, the function will stop calling itself. If we look at this problem here, we could have the function call itself again with the number divided by 10 that would be a smaller version of the same problem because the size of the number would be reduced by one digit. So here we'll have count digits and we'll call it with number divided by 10. Now at this point, if we divide the number by 10, we could say that we've effectively counted one digit because one digit has been taken off the number. So we'll have here one plus this. What this will do is add one to the count of any remaining digits in the rest of the number. We'll return this from the function. And now we've completed our recursive case because the function is solving part of the problem and calling itself with a smaller version of the same problem. Eventually though, we need the function to stop calling itself. That's the base case. What we'll do is have the function stop calling itself when the number divided by 10 is equal to zero. So we'll have here, if the number divided by 10 is equal to zero, then we're just going to return one for the last digit in the number. So now let's test our function out. Up here, we'll call count digits and we'll pass it 3,512, which has four digits. We'll output the return value followed by an inline using C out. So if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here four, which is correct because 3,512 does have four digits. Now to better understand how this function works, we could trace out an example. So for example, let's imagine this function is called with let's say 792. Now initially when this function is called with 792, the number divided by 10 is not going to be equal to zero. The number divided by 10 is going to be equal to 79. So this time the function is not going to return one. Instead, the function is going to return one plus count digits called with 79. So we'll have that. We'll have one plus count digits called with 79. Then the function again, when it's called with 79, is not going to return one because 79 divided by 10 is not going to be equal to zero. It's going to be equal to seven. So the function is going to return one plus count digits called with the number divided by 10, which this time is going to be seven. So we'll have here one plus count digits called with seven. Now this time seven divided by 10 is going to be equal to zero the function is going to return one. And so the result that's ultimately returned by count digits when it's called with 792 is going to be one plus one plus one, which is equal to three, which is correct.
So this is how we can count the number of digits in an integer using recursion in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.